What's up, Leo? It's West Coast Tarot with your end of September love general reading. This is for my lovely Leos, Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading. It may not resonate with every Leo out there, but if you like my style and I vibed with you, please like and subscribe to catch future West Coast Tarot videos. Also, if you want to know about any of the tarot decks I, I use or want to purchase a personal reading with me where we go one-on-one -on -one into your situation, all that information can be found down below as well as how to contact me with questions, okay? So guys, I am so behind on personal readings and I just, I get, I am not personal readings, I'm on time with personal readings, but my YouTube videos, um, I think because I do so many personal readings, so... You know, it's kind of a balance that I have to find because I feel like I never have time to do YouTube videos and most of my time is spent with personal readings. Um, so guys, this is a general love reading. As always in a general, rules can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective. So just apply it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Spirit, please bring forth the current energy of Leo and love. What is the current energy for Leos for the end of September going into October? October. <laughs> October. Um, tell me about Leo's in love. End of September going into October. Please bring forth the current energy of love for Leo. Okay, so we have seven of spears, eight of cups in reverse, two of cups, ace of coins in reverse, two of swords, <laughs> the emperor. Bottom of the deck, we have Knight of Spears. Um, this is an energy of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, I just pulled a hair out. I have long hair, so sometimes it gets everywhere. Um, but this is really an energy of detached. So I feel like right now, Leos, you guys can be upset with someone, um, or someone could be very angry with you. You could have been dealing with someone who had a very um, angry or reckless mentality, someone who is very impulsive, but I feel like right now the current energy that I feel is most important to pull from this is the detached energy. So I definitely feel like you aren't connecting with someone. You could be avoiding them, and I also feel like there's no action being taken, okay? Um, you know, someone could be avoiding you because they may not know what to say. You know, they may not be brave enough to approach you as well. Leos are very strong, okay? Where you're coming from, we have the Seven of Spears. So I definitely feel like you guys stood up for something. You persevered. You defended yourself. I feel like you defended yourself, your rights. You took a stance, okay? And I feel like you set up a barrier. You made boundaries known. And I feel like you, by doing this, maintained in control, okay? You maintained your composure. But I definitely feel like you persevered through something. You finally stood up for yourself or said something, okay? Spirit, tell me about Leos. Where are they coming from, please? Tell me about Leos. Yeah, I feel like you guys were frustrated with someone because they just weren't putting in as much effort, okay? They weren't putting as much effort as you were. I definitely feel here that this is someone who maybe wasn't giving you the commitment that you want. And I feel like this person wanted all the rewards but didn't want to put in the work, okay? They wanted you to put up the work. And I feel like this was someone that maybe, um, you know, you, you maybe could have saw yourself with. Who is this Knight of Pentacles, please? Where's Leo coming from? It's also Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like you were trying to hold on to this person. I feel like you really thought this person was someone that you wanted. But I feel like this person constantly put up barriers or constantly didn't put as much effort in. I feel like this person was a cheap person. And I feel like you were doing most of the effort. And this person, you know, was more guarded and wouldn't really let you in or do what they needed to do to let you in. Okay? 
how you're being seen is eight of cups. So you're avoiding this person. Um, you know, I feel like communication might not be the best right now. I feel like there's an avoidant energy here. But I also feel like, in a sense, although you may not be on speaking terms or you're avoiding this person, a part of you is fearing, you know, losing this person. Okay, so I definitely feel like you're not really, you haven't walked away, but yet part of you is avoiding this situation because it's easier to deal with it, and I feel like you don't want to lose this person. I also feel like someone, you know, is seeing you this way, so I feel like someone is afraid they could have lost you as well, but they're not coming towards you to communicate this. They're afraid they lost you. Why is Eight of Cups here, please? Yeah, this person knows that they hurt you. This person know, knows that they have disappointed you um, and that you're sad. This person knows they did something. Clarify the Three of Swords. And I feel like although this person has hurt you, um, they still know how they feel about you. They still have some sort of emotion, but they're not communicating this to you. And I feel like this person wants to balance out the situation with you. They're just struggling with how to articulate what it is that they want to say. Because they know they have to speak up soon or they're going to lose you forever. What's coming towards you? We have two of cups. So this is um, more water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This is an energy of a connection. Um, you know, it could be a soulmate. It can be some sort of soul connection. But this is a very dual partnership, um, a very strong magnetic partnership here, okay? And I feel like this is coming towards you. Um, for some of you, Smith, the name Smith might mean something, okay? Clarify Two of Cups. Why is this here, please? Yeah, see, Two of Cups and Lovers. You guys might have a Gemini coming towards you, um, just Gen Gemini energy, but you guys definitely have someone coming towards you that wants a partnership with you, wants some sort of connection or union with you. They're very attracted to you. They, they desire you. Why is the Lovers here, please? I feel like this person doesn't know if you would take them back if you even are interested anymore. But this person's contemplating you and I feel like they're looking back on the situation and they know they need to do something. But I don't know if you'd be interested in their offer. Because mutually between the two of you, we have an ace of coins energy. This is a lost opportunity. This is a mischance. This is a bad investment. And I feel like someone made a bad choice or a bad decision here. And both of you are not feeling secure right now on the future of this connection. Why is the Ace of Coins here, please? Yeah, see, but both of you are just avoiding each other. You guys aren't going towards one another. Um, I feel like you just don't want to make a stupid decision. It's like, yeah, I'm curious about you, but, you know, I've been... I see that you're not making the the right choices, you know, in regards to me. And I feel like both of you could be doubting this connection. There was a bad decision made. There was a bad judgment call made. And I feel like you guys might be avoiding one another. Because how this person's feeling about you, they feel like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place with the two of swords in reverse. This person feels like there's no right choice. And I feel like they're confused on an action plan or how to approach you. They don't even know what to say. They don't know what to say to make things right. Clarify Two of Swords. How does this person feel about Leo? They just don't want conflict with you. That's all they know. Okay, so I feel like this person, yeah, they're really thinking about you with the strength here. This person's focused on you, but they don't know what to say. They know they made a bad choice. They know they messed up. 
They don't know how to make things right. All I know is they don't want to argue with you, okay? Advice from Spirit, we have the Emperor. So this is Aries energy. Um, this is really just focusing on yourself, focusing on work, um, people around you. You know, if you're a boss at work, um, really just look at your structure. Try to get things under control. If you guys are parents, you know, focus in on that. But the Emperor is someone who always does things right. The Emperor is someone who always wins. The Emperor is the king of all kings, okay? Queen of all queens. Why is the Emperor here, please? What is the advice for Leo? Yeah, see, I feel like you guys, um, everything's going to work out for you. I feel like, you know, you guys are very strong, you're independent, you're confident, and I feel like you hold the courage within yourself to get through anything as long as you are determined, and I feel like a lot of you are protected at this time, and you're going to get through it. You know, a lot of you could be really just dealing with your divine masculine or divine feminine. Why is the Queen of Wands here, please? What is the advice? Remain strong, okay? Why is the queen here? Because I feel like right now, um, although you feel like your dreams are shattered, like this is your person, you're going to get through this. And how you're going to get through this is by realizing that you can't change this person. That change starts from within, so continue to work on yourself, continue to be strong, continue to stay focused. And I feel like that's the best thing that you can do because this person already knows. They know this, that they know the meaning of this connection. They know what you mean to them. They know what they did and they're contemplating this. And I feel like right now they're very bored and discontent without you. The Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius, this is the life of the party. She's fun. She's, you know, spontaneous. This is someone who is just like, you want to be around. You want to be friends with. And I feel like this person knows it. But will they balance out the situation? Will they fix this? You can't control that. But you can control yourself, okay? You definitely can control yourself. And I feel like until this person does the right thing, you're going to remain detached, okay? Angels, what messages do you have for Leo for the end of September going into October in regards to love? What messages do you have for Leo? It says, act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you are detached from your person. Um, but, you know, it's not like not moving on or keeping your life on hold. That's not what this card is saying. This is saying that, you know, act as if you're already fulfilled. Act as if you already know that they're going to come towards you with an apology. Act as if... You know, it's just a matter of time, but also continue to work on yourself. You can't put your life on hold, okay? Just manifest, in other words. The union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. Yep. This is definitely a connection that I feel is really strong with the lovers, two of cups, and the emperor here. Um, this is someone that's very unique, and I feel like this is why it's it's got in, into your bones. This is why it's hanging around a lot longer than is really necessary, because this is someone you feel a connection with like no other person before, and you want them to do the right thing. And be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. So I feel like this is not you guys having to go out of your way. But if this person does come towards you, um, if this person needs your help, you know, it's okay to be supportive. But also, you know, if they come towards you, 
and do want to make things right, you know, it's you maybe just go a little bit lenient and hear them out and make a genuine effort to show that you care, you know, be supportive of their opinions or their desires or their thoughts on the connection. Um, but again, you don't have to, you know, it's, this is not saying be the weaker person or letting someone walk all over you. Absolutely not. But this is just saying that sometimes you might need to be supportive to your partner, okay? Okay, Leo, so I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys have an amazing end of September going into October. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Personal readings, all that information is down below. Love and light to you. Take care.